Let's look into the film. In this video, we're looking at Noah Brown. Noah Brown been with this team for a long time. Under the first administration, Jason Garrett, he was considered a blocking hybrid wide receiver slash tight end. He was that guy. But in this particular system, he's pretty good as a backup wide receiver, by the way, under Mike McCarthy's system. I just believe that Kellen Moore trusts him, and that's the reason why they re-signed him. And he was able to find a soft spot in his own here. And they utilize him in the short to intermediate routes. And he's a sure hands catcher with those shorter passes, of course. Now, I'm saying this casually. He's not a starting or starter type or caliber type of wide receiver. However, he is a legitimate, good backup wide receiver that you can use. And even on this play right here, if Cedric Wilson would have led him a little bit, man, he probably would have turned it up and scored a touchdown. Ain't nobody in front of these guys. And he had also C.D. Lamb wide open over there. So it's one of those things where he is a solid backup wide receiver. The Cowboys decided to keep him because he knows the system. And why not, right? If it's cheap, then let's just keep something that we already know of. This was probably one of his better uh, catches right here. Takes the middle of the field and able to find a soft spot there. and get Knowing that he's going to get hit, still knows the ball, catches it, and get upfield. I like that. And they were able to utilize that play for a massive chunk. And good catch by him, knowing that he's going to get hit and they were able to connect now on this play we see lamb is open but Dak prescott rolls out and he hit noah brown and, and i believe he still got the first down and more to the 50. yeah yeah and that's pretty good because we can see some yak action out, out of him but he should have hit cd lamb man that would have been a better throw but neither here nor there i'm not here to point the fingers at Dak prescott but let's just look at this all together again i, I just got to see this one all over Make sure I see what I see. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah, right here. That would be a better throw. He'll be able to knife inside here. But neither here nor there. Uh, still positive yards from Noah Brown on this play. And he's able to get up. Now, another thing that I want you guys to pay attention to, just from my observation, is they had the threat of Dak Prescott legs because he rolled out and this guy abandoned his assignment to come down to put the pressure on Dak Prescott and get the ball out. I like that because that means that at this point of time of the season, Dak Prescott had a threat of the legs, right? So that's good to know right there. But nice situation for the Cowboys, for Noah Brown, to be able to catch that and give the man a stiffy and get upfield. We like seeing that Cowboy Nation. And, of course, Noah Brown on a quick slant inside. Big physical receiver. Looks pretty good. Looks star caliber on this particular play. Now, Noah Brown, big size, not afraid to block. And it appears to me that his yak is very important for this team. Yards after catch. And he's a solid blocker, as we can see right here. Ezekiel Elliott capturing the edge, and, and he's able to get his nose down inside there. Number 85 to help out with the block. So those things play a major role, and this is Noah Brown on the edge here playing the X role, the outside receiver on, in this particular game. And not bad, not bad, isolated by himself, and he come back on a hook play, and he pretty much catches that little hitch on the outside. So that's the staple piece of this offense. Really not a lot of jazz to it, but they try to get you out for rhythm, and they like to spread things out and find an open target. That's the name of the game, Cowboy Nation. Here he is on a similar play, and he's able to catch this ball and fall and get the positive yards there. So Noah Brown is a solid, solid backup wide receiver. Here he is at the bottom of the screen right here. Little curl out, catches the ball pretty good, greet the ball with his hands, and didn't allow the ball to hit his chest. So I just think that the Cowboys really feel comfortable with Noah Brown and they like his temperaments. He don't really fuss or, or complain about a lot of things and that's what they're looking for. 
It's a wide receiver by committee approach, and they're looking at the 2022 season just as such. So it could be C.D. Lamb, Noah Brown, as well as whenever Michael Gallup come back in Semi Fihoko. And let's not forget about who they may or may not draft. I guess that's what we're going to have to have the conversation with. And news reports that Cedric Wilson is in talks and seeing if they're going to bring him back. They're going to allow Cedric Wilson to test the open market. But back to Noah, we can see that he's a physical wide receiver and he's not afraid to catch the ball in traffic. It's just that will he be consistent enough to catch those 50-50 balls? Now, this is a tight window throw, and the DB just played it so perfectly. It's like this guy was covered like a blanket. Most of the Saints DBs, that's how they play, too. That's how they play. They're stingy. Everybody's tight. And that's the problem. Sometimes in that high traffic area, you see that Noah Brown, he's just not going to be able to just win most of that. But like I said, he's a solid backup wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. And he just couldn't outperform that guy on that play. <laughs> Shout out to the DB for playing it so tight. But we understand Noah Brown's skill set. And we know that Dak Prescott, he feel comfortable throwing the ball in the middle of the field with him. He can line up as it relates to some tight end looks as well. Or he can take some of the middle action. So watch. He pivot. Dak Prescott looks off. And he's able to hit him. Yeah. Get inside. Yeah, there we go. That's a good play by Noah Brown to get the DB up off of him. Yeah, so we look at all of those things. They motion Noah Brown. They add him in to play that hybrid look, to play him inside and outside, and he can find the soft spots in his zone. Hitting speed, not max crazy speed, but he got hitting speed or subtle speed, and he's a physical type of wide receiver. So the Cowboys, in my opinion, they like where it, he was able to bring for a few years with the Cowboys system, and, and they really like him under Mike McCarthy slash Kellen Moore system. And he's a good, well, all-around backup wide receiver that will not give anybody a lot of fuss as it relates to his overall game temperaments and what he brings to the table. So with that being said, Noah Brown back in uniform for the 2022 season. I want to know how you guys feel about Noah Brown. Should the Cowboys still look into the draft, which I'm going to tell you, yes, they still should look into the draft. They still should dance around in the free agency as it relates to these wide receivers. And they should give a fair shake to TJ Vasher, Simi Fihoko, all of those guys that they drafted or the undrafted guys from last season to see what they can bring to the table as it relates to playing for the Cowboys. Post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. DC for life. Salute.